Hello Internet, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Today, we are bringing you back to Guitar 101 to talk about scale length. What is scale length and why does it matter? Scale length is something that is listed in every specification of every guitar you will ever look at on the Internet, on every dealer and every manufacturer's website, but it is often either misunderstood, not understood, or underplayed in the importance that it has to both the feel and the tone of the guitar. That's why it's important that we talk about and help you understand what it is and what it means. To illustrate this point, I have two acoustic guitars from Martin to show you. Uh, we're using these to point out why scale length matters, but this is true of electric guitars and bass guitars and everything. So let's talk about scale length and what it is first of all. A guitar can be made in a variety of scale length uh, dimensions. Basically, it's the measurement from the bridge or the saddle down here to the nut. This vibrating length of the string is called the scale. And manufacturers will use different scale lengths for a variety of purposes. Uh, if you buy a travel guitar, it's a very short scale, maybe 22 or 23 inches. A triple O 28 like this from Martin Guitars is 24.9 inches. But its stable mate, its brother, the LM28, is almost exactly like it, but it's 25.4 inches, or roughly 25 and a half, just about inches in scale length. And that changes the difference between these two guitars. But it goes beyond acoustic guitars. One of the discussions that's often minimized when talking about a comparison between iconic electric guitars like a Fender Stratocaster and a Gibson Les Paul is the dramatic difference in scale length between the two instruments. People will talk about the woods that they're made out of, the pickups that use, uh, whether one has a bolt-on or glued-in neck joint, headstock angle, all of these things will fill forums on the internet talking about why a guitar sounds this way or the other. But very rarely do people talk about scale length. And it's important because the scale length of a string will determine the fundamental overtones and harmonics of that string and where they are found. And that will affect everything else. And so that's why we've chosen to show you on acoustic guitars because these two have the same tone woods, they are made by the same manufacturer, they have almost the same bracing, um, and the only difference between them is the scale length. So when you shorten a scale length or you elongate a scale length, what you do is you change the spacing of the harmonics. And the harmonics are where a particular note rests on the string based upon a tension, okay? If this scale length is like the OM28, it's 25 and a half inches roughly, and you tune it up to E, you're tuning it up to a certain tension to reach that pitch. And then all of the harmonics along that string are at a certain point, and that's what tells manufacturers where to put a fret. Okay, so if you have a fret here and a fret here and a fret here, it's based upon the scale length. If you shorten the scale length, guess what happens to all the frets? They get a little closer together because those harmonics on the string are a little closer together. And a shorter scale will feel looser on your fretting hand because there is less tension on the string, but it will also feel warmer tonally because those harmonics are tighter together. The, the spacing isn't as far apart. And so with all those harmonies being together, it kind of compresses it a little bit and it sounds warmer. And again, it, and the string is looser, so it oscillates a little freer. You have an overall darker tone. Guess what? A Les Paul on electric guitars is a shorter scale length than a Stratocaster. What do we always think? We think, well, a Les Paul sounds darker, right? Whether it's got humbuckers or P90s in it, we say it sounds darker. Whether it's all mahogany or mahogany and maple, we say it sounds darker. A Stratocaster is 25 and a half inches. Okay, it's almost a full inch longer in scale length. The frets are further apart. You have to stretch a little bit more to hit certain chords. The strings feel a little bit tighter. That's why certain guys like Jimi Hendrix and Stevie Ray Vaughan would tune down to E flat. Some people change the string gauge. All of this is because of scale length and the guitars are brighter. What do we think of when we think of strats, right? A chimey tone. Whether they have single coils or humbuckers in there, they seem to have a brighter tone. And so that is all because of the scale length. If you put a pickup here, whether it's a humbucker or a single coil, and the scale length determines the harmonics of the string, the harmonics where that pickup placement is are going to be different, right? So shorter scale is warmer still, 
longer scale's brighter still. The shorter scale's got a looser feel, the longer scale's got a tighter feel. And when you go to instruments that are designed to be tuned lower, like a seven string guitar or a five string bass, then you start really seeing the need for uh, longer scale lengths because you have a lower tuned string and if it's too short, bass players know if you have a short scale bass with a, with a low B, it's floppy. It's flopping all over the place because there's not enough tension on it because the scale length isn't long enough. And this is not even getting into the discussion of fan frets and multi-scale instruments and all of that. The point is that you need to understand what's happening with the scale length so that when you pick up a guitar and you go, oh, I like this one better than this one, you might have a better understanding as to why. So again, we've picked these two guitars. We're going to have two little snippets for you so that you can hear the difference between them. Check it out. Hey, thanks so much for watching the videos we put out on YouTube. We make these with the goal of helping you find the right instrument to suit your needs, to find the perfect fit so that you find the right guitar and bring many years of joy. We believe strongly that if you play a note, it can change your life. But if you're shopping for a guitar right now, you may be overwhelmed by the amount of choices that are available. Should you get an acoustic guitar, an electric guitar, a classical guitar? Which features matter, price points, things like that. It can be overwhelming. And for that reason, I've written a guitar buyer's guide called Don't Get a Good Deal on the Wrong Guitar. Follow the link below to download this very comprehensive guide that will talk about every aspect that you should be paying attention to when it comes to purchasing a new guitar. 
you ever have questions or need help, go to our website, alamomusic.com. We're here to help. Thanks. Mm -hmm.